Sheriff Bill Weyburn from Tarrant County joins us on the phone now. Sheriff, always a pleasure to have you. And I, I'm, I'm, I, like I said, I've been following this story. What do you make of this, and, and what's been happening in Tarrant County jails? Well, uh, thank you for having me, first of all, Dana, and it's always a pleasure to be with you. Is, uh, is I think this was a hit job, obviously, from, from, from uh, the other side's perspective, is that, unfortunately, we have had 10 people pass away this year in our jail. And during my tenure as sheriff, I, 18 people have died, uh, all full disclosure. But during that same time period, we booked in and out 190,000 people with an average jail population of over 4,000. And uh, what has happened is that these people come in sick. And, uh, you know, the second stop in, uh, in my jail is John Peter Smith Hospital medical people who evaluate you. And often the people that we have, this is the first time they've been diagnosed. Unfortunately, we had a man come into the jail just a while back and never had care for this and suddenly he was sick and they started checking on him and and the medical authority says hey he's got he has uh, got two forms of cancer and uh, it is in stage four and we were able to get him to john peter smith hospital and he he did pass but he passed with some dignity and top medical care i mean john peter smith is the number one hospital in the country and they do our medical mm. uh, people in our jail are checked on every 20 minutes if they're at any risk at all and uh, so we work hard on it. I believe we have the cleanest jail in Texas. And uh, I've invited these critics to say, hey, come and look at my jail and, and come no notice. We've done that with other news media. Come and look. It's clean. It's ready to be seen. It's ready, to, you know, ready for inspection right now. Yeah. And one of the headlines that uh, came out just over the summer had to do with an inmate that was that apparently is now in a mental hospital who gave birth in Tarrant County Jail. And there was a lot of discussion on this. And I noticed that in some of the articles that I read, buried way, way down in like the seventh on this one, it's actually the 11th paragraph. It said that the Texas Commission on Jail Standards concluded they did an investigation and looked at Tarrant County Jail as related to this particular case of this woman who uh, she just had a baby unattended inside of a Tarrant County Jail cell in May, and the baby did not make it, only lasting for 10 days after the birth. And the Texas Commission on Jail Standards conducted an, an investigation, and they said that there was no evidence of wrongdoing by members of the jail staff as it relates to the unattended birth. Uh, what can you tell us about this and and how I mean, do just do, at what point do, do child protective services come into play? And, and what was the story with with this headline? Well, unfortunately, this the the young lady that was pregnant inside the jail. She was such of a, uh, her mental state was so depreciated that even the uh, medical doctors that were seeing her had noted that. They were going to schedule her to induce labor in a couple of weeks, uh, just the day before. And uh, but they they were going to wait two more weeks. But said on their statement says we don't believe that she'll ever know that she's in labor. And uh, she was in one of our high uh, high secure areas where we were watching her. She was by herself, and uh, six feet from her was a registered nurse and a, and a detention officer outside the cell. And they had checked on her. Everything seemed to be fine through the windows and then came back around for a medical uh, checkup and they entered the cell and they discovered under the blankets, uh, quite frankly, and uh, hidden from them, the baby had been born. This woman made no, no, no noise at all. She didn't make a sound and the staff immediately went into finishing the delivery and getting that baby to uh, Cook's Hospital. And uh, far as CPS, I think that would have happened on Cook's end as far as getting involved and taking a look at things. But as you said, we were investigated by the Texas jail standards. We give them everything. And if there's a death, the Texas Rangers review everything also. Uh, so we were looked at from several different ways and, and uh, uh, concluded that there was no wrongdoing. Our, our people went did, did their job. Mm hmm yeah, there were uh, that um, there was a lot of uh, afterwards in, in terms of the investigation on the infant's mother. Apparently, she was found incompetent to stand trial, and she's on a jail-based uh, described as a competency restoration program. The Star Telegram had reported that she had a psychiatric uh, evaluation, and they said that the report too on the Jail Standards Commission 
uh, they uh, it, this was in 2019. They said that an estimated 30 percent of the inmate population is either diagnosed or exhibiting signs of a mental illness and that in many instances jailers are are becoming social workers how much does this play into you know i mean basically the i guess the health of these inmates when they are in the jail system uh and it sounds like either someone's going to the hospital or someone's going to jail right behind you <laughs> right in the background but how i apologize, I apologize. Yeah. no no I'm totally understand uh, uh, well, is, well we hope everyone's bad. okay right. but but your but your response well, Sheriff's taking care of business. Look at that. He's answering questions about headlines and TCB. There you go. No, we're uh, talking to Sheriff Bill Weyburn of Tarrant County because there have been a number of headlines about just some of the deaths in the uh, in the jail system. And as I was just saying, there was uh, this this study also the Jail Standards Commission in 2019. They 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 did a, an evaluation, and they the report concluded that an estimated 30 percent of the inmate population is either diagnosed or exhibiting signs of mental illness. You know, it's at, at so this I mean obviously it makes it it raises a question as to you know how these people how they are. Uh, 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 Cared for is not the, and not in terms of health care, but how they're basically uh, tended to when they are in the system. Because in many instances, you are kind of making those who are working inside the jail systems and the jails themselves social workers in a way. Uh, talk to me a little bit, Sheriff, about, about that and how this also plays into some of these stories that we heard that we've, and that we've read about some of these deaths that are occurring. Absolutely. Thank you. Is that uh, right after I came, became sheriff in 17, one of the things we did is change around the academy that if you're a jailer that has graduated since uh, the middle of 2017, is that you are trained and become a mental health officer, number one. But number two is, is that our population, there's 45 percent of our population has uh, uh, is clients of mental health. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit larger than that study of 19. And a lot of the people that we see have mental health issues. A lot of people that have died have mental health issues. Now, we did have, you know, one gentleman that didn't have mental health issues. He just had a cardiac arrest out in the middle of the pod and went down, and we were doing CPR within 90 seconds, and, and uh, the good Lord just took him on home. Uh, but mental health is a huge factor uh, with what we're dealing with and, and our uh, suicide at risk population has doubled in the jail. Uh, we are, our officers are doing an incredible job. They have stopped, they average on a weekly basis stopping a suicide. Mm. And, um, but the other deaths that have been in the jail have been of natural causes where uh, these sickly people have come in and they have mental health, so they can't describe everything to us. We have to discover it on our own. And that when we do, uh, JPS, uh, John Peter Smith Hospital, has been excellent in handling that. Uh, Tarrant County Mental Health has been a great partner. They're in the jail. And as I said, our first stop is JPS. Our second stop is mental health uh, folks. So they get looked at all the time. Mm. Yeah, and this this goes into one of the uh, one of the things that was reported. I'm going to make sure I pull up this. This was uh, Star Telegram had said that. There was around it was around the same time that this birth occurred that the Tarrant County Jail had lost its state certification for six days because there were three checks on the mental health pod that they, they were delayed, and that was because uh, linked to an inmate suicide that took place on on April 26. And it said the certification was re reinstated after there was a, a submitted after officials submitted a plan of of corrective action. What can you tell us about that? Well, I, and I'm not sure if six days is correct. It seemed like we got notice on Friday and we were reinstated on Tuesday. Uh, but we did have some jailers that uh, uh, did not get the checks. They were missed it by five or six minutes. Uh, and so they weren't in that time frame. And any time that happens uh, in the state, in all the jails, uh, you lose your certification until you have a response such as we did. And what we did was, is, hey, well, we doubled up on our camera security. We revisited with some folks about the importance of that. We also had our supervisors start doing uh, a little bit more overwatch on what they were, uh, what they normally do. And we were fortunate to re or, or actually get technology that we've been working on for two years that ensures that the officer is at the door and checks. It's a, a computerized system that that helps the officer be a little bit more efficient and effective. 
because sometimes on those checks, if you get tied up at one sale, you're going to be you're going to be late to the next one if you're not careful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and that and and that goes into goodness that it's it because of the mental health situation in the country. It's how much more difficult has this made the job of again, this is the best way I can put this being a layman's terms on this. How difficult has it made the job of jailing and and managing the jailing system? Uh, how has it changed it? Well, it's incredibly changed it. And what has happened is is that, that we have had to focus more on de-escalation and having officers that never had been in this field suddenly, as you said, become social workers. And we've got to, we were teaching them how to de-escalate these situations. We also have to spend some more time dealing with assaultive inmates because a lot of these MHMR folks are assaultive. So we're everything seems to be fine and all of a sudden there's an explosion where where the, the fight's on and, mm. and we've had a number of officers that are hurt and uh, that, so it has made it incredibly difficult but hopefully we're going to continue to do more training we're going to get officers the, the, the skills that they need and the tools that they need to uh, evade these but mm. when I became sure from January of 2017 I had 20 people incompetent to stand trial today we have well over 100. Wow. Last quick question for you. We're talking to uh, Sheriff Bill Weber and Tarrant County Sheriff really quickly. What are the solutions for improving this and, 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 and changing it? Or what do you need from the community or even lawmakers in order to to remedy any any difficulties? Well, thank you. Is that we are working on right now a diversion mental health diversion center that I think will help a great deal for low level nonviolent criminals. And that'll reduce our stress load or our our load of prisoners in the jail and number two is i think we do need we obviously need more state jail beds that the legislatures need to provide so i think those are two areas that would help us a great deal mm. and uh and 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 resolve some of these issues yeah there you go sheriff bill Weber in tarrant county always a pleasure to speak with you sheriff thank you so much for your time today we know you're a busy man and uh, we look forward to talking with you again soon take care God. <laughs>